right, seriously people, can there be a fall without at least one piece of plaid? Hey my friends, good to see you again today or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Angela and today I have a great Walmart haul to share with you and I'm sharing not one, but two pieces of plaid. Can you believe that? I am not normally one for wearing plaid, but when fall comes and Christmas time comes around, my plaid seems to creep out of the closet. I mean, how can you go to any kind of pumpkin patch, cider mill, like a fall festival without thinking about wearing a piece of plaid, am I right? So with that said, let's see what kind of fall items I have to share with you today. So here we are with the first of our plaid items. It is a shirt by Time and True. The colors in here are gorgeous. It's got like a wine color, some blue, some white. I just love the color combination. This I picked up in a size small and it was $14. So I just chose to put on a white t-shirt underneath and do like a little tie front, make it a little sassy looking, but you could undo this, you could let it hang out straight, you could tuck it in and it's just a really fun color for fall. It's got your typical one pocket on the top here, your little fold down collar, it buttons at the sleeves. And I'm thinking my friends that this is a perfect kind of plaid coloring to wear with a pair of darker wash jeans. So I pick these jeans up, they are by Time and True, and they are a high rise, button fly, curvy fit jean. <laughs> And on the bottom of these jeans, they are scissor cut. So it's just a little snip straight across. And they've got just a tiny bit of distressing right at that one knee right there. I put it on with a little pair of booties that I've had in my own closet for quite a while. And I feel this makes a really fun fall outfit. Now I have to say, I have found my first pair of jeans at Walmart that doesn't fit me perfectly. And that's these. Let me tell you why. I think it could be because these are a curvy fit. And for whatever reason, having a curvy fit creates this gapping in the back. So if you normally have that issue with jeans, you might find the same situation going on with these. And also I'm gonna say, I picked these up in my normal size six. And honestly, I would go back and pick them up in a size four. Now maybe that would also help the gapping issue in the back, I'm not sure but definitely go down a size if you take a look at these jeans. The other thing I'm noticing about these jeans is there's like some gapping right there. That's like no good, right? It's like folded over. So again, it could be because I got my normal size and I should have gone down, but, and I'm hoping that that would kind of take care of the situation if I went down a size. That is so strange because normally time and true jeans fit me like a glove. I'm saying it's got to be the curvy aspect of these jeans that's creating this little gapping issue in the back for me. Other than that, these are a really nice pair of jeans, especially for $19. All right, my friends, I am back with the second plaid option. This is the exact same shirt as the last one. The thing is, it's a different type of color plaid. It's got the blues and the pinks and the white in there. I'm kind of thinking I'm liking this one a little bit more and I'm sure you're really surprised, right? Anything that's got pink in it seems to just call my name. And I wanna say when I wear blues, it tends to make my eyes pop a little bit more. So you let me know, do you like this one on me better or the last one? So just to let you know, they had more than just these two color options. So make sure when you go online, you take a look and you'll be able to see all the different color options. All right, let's see what's next. All right, my friends, I am back with the next couple of items. Let's talk about this top first. It is by Time and True. I picked it up in a size small and it was $10. Now, if you remember from a couple of hauls ago, I showcased a top just like this, but the pattern was a white and a pinkish mauve kind of tie dye. This is the same exact soft material. Um, it is kind of a nice loose fit. Now we have the leopard print pattern, but this is a really nice top. I paired it with a pair of gray time and true jeans. They are also a button fly. They are a high rise and on the bottom, they're kind of more like a raw cut. They do fit really well. I picked these jeans up in a size six. And surprisingly, these size six fit me perfectly. I would not go down in these gray jeans at all. 
So it's so interesting how from one pair to the next, they can be made so differently, right? That's my advice for you ladies. If you pick up these jeans, pick them up in your regular size. Don't go up or down. Okay, wait till you see the next sweater. I saw this on the rack and I was like, oh, I have to have that. Okay, I am really loving the colors in this sweater. I'm gonna give you a close up so you can see all the different coloring in here. This is a really soft sweater. It's got a nice wide thick band at the sleeve area, a little bit up on the top and a wider band at the bottom as well. The sleeves, see how they're like a little bit slouchy because you've got such a long cuff down here. It's got just a little bit of slouchiness to it. Um, it's a good length. I picked this up in a size small and I was really debating as I was holding both of them up which size to get, but I think I picked the good one here. For me, small is my normal size, so I would go with your normal size on this one. They had this sweater also in a cream color with like little ribbons of gold thread going through the sweater. They also had it in black with little ribbons of silver uh, very like metallic-y silver running through the material as well. And if you look closely, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up, there is a little metallic um, pink like ribbon-ish material running through here. I'm not sure if you can really see that shininess to it, but it's got just a hint of like a sparkle to it. So love this sweater. It's like I said, it's so soft. For $18, this is a great quality sweater very soft, I love the colors, all that for $18. I'll tell you what, girlfriends, I am loving this sweater. Look who wanted to come and say hi to all his lovely ladies out there. And he wanted to thank you all for all your votes on what he should be for Halloween. He's been relaxing because I think we wore him out. Does Bentley like the bunny for his Halloween costume? What do you wanna say? You say thank you. Okay, people, I'm gonna be honest here. I picked up this dress and I really wasn't sure how it was gonna be on me, but I'm here to tell you, I'm kinda of liking this one. So this is by Time and True. It's a sweater dress, it's $18, and I picked it up in a size small. So let me back this truck up so you can kinda of see what's going on here. Never mind the shoes, for now. Okay, so it has a little bit of a puffy sleeve up here, not much, but just a tiny bit. And as you can see, the sleeves are super long. So it's got this ribbing here that goes a long way, but you could do like a little roll, I guess, if you wanted to on the end there. I don't know. No, I think it needs to be all the way down and then maybe just pull them up just a bit. So that's kind of interesting. Here it is, here's how it fits. Isn't that cute? It's like I say, it's way cuter than I thought it would be. It's very comfortable. And I, I'm liking the print. I think with a pair of black shoes or black boots or something like that, this would be really super cute. Okay, now don't laugh, but I have my ugly shoes on, but we're gonna rectify that in a second here. I'm gonna put on my slouchy boots that I have previously gotten from Walmart and let's see what that looks like with this. Now that's kind of fun. I don't know, would I wear it with the boots or not? Um, or I'd wear it with just some normal heels or a wedge, something like that. But it could be cute. It could be cute and sassy for somebody, you know? These also came from Walmart. They were $30. I picked them up in a size nine, and for me, that size is perfect. I would normally get a size nine in any kind of boot or booty. Okay, now I just brought this down because I thought it would look adorable finishing off this dress. So it is my new Kate Spade purse that I bought. Um, down in Myrtle Beach when I went. I mean, look at how this kind of completes the outfit, doesn't it? It just makes it look really cute. I'd put on some jewelry and I'd be good to go. Just in case you haven't seen it before, it is a bucket purse. It's the smaller size. They do have it in a larger size as well. So it is crossbody, or you could do, you know, over the shoulder like that. Um, it is a bucket purse, but it's got separation on the inside. So it's got this middle panel excuse whatever I have in there, Kleenex, I guess. Um, and it's got a light, nice little secure middle pocket. And then it's got the two other side pockets so that when you're putting stuff in this purse, it's not all jamming together and getting lost, right? It does have a magnetic snap closure. I picked this up at the outlet store 
and I want to say it was like $120, $115, something like that. So what a great deal. Now the larger size, I want to say that might have been about $130. If you've been looking for something like this or you want something like this for Christmas or you want to give it to someone as a Christmas gift, um, I'm going to have the links down below for you for this exact purse on the Kate Spade Outlet website. And that way you guys can kind of get it for a Christmas gift or for someone else. I'm telling you what, girlfriends, I don't know about the boots with it, but I am really liking this dress. And I like it because it's a nice soft sweater dress and it's comfortable, but still looks really cute. Like this could be a perfect Thanksgiving if you guys dress up a little bit more or a holiday party. This would be perfect to wear to a holiday party and you're good to go for like $18. All right, now the next thing I have to show you guys before we go to the extras, which I'm hoping will be a fun little addition to this video, I showcased this earlier in the summer. I was way early with trying to find you guys gift ideas for the holidays. And a lot of you saw that and ordered it for yourself, but I wanna reintroduce it to you because we're getting closer to the holidays. My goal is to try to give you little nuggets within each Walmart video of like maybe another Christmas gift idea for you or for someone else. So that hopefully by the time Christmas comes, you guys are set, you're feeling great because all of your shopping is done. And I'm trying to give you just little ideas that might work for somebody you know, but might not, um, but they're just ideas, you know? Trying to help a girlfriend out. Okay, so this is something that I showed you guys earlier in the summer. It is one of those wax warmers and it's got a little light bulb in here. They had several different designs. I will put the links to all the different designs that Walmart carried that I offered before. So if you missed it, you, got, you guys can check this out to see if this could be a cool little gift for someone on your Christmas list. So this goes with our house decor big time. And what you do is you just take this little top off here, it plugs in and you turn it on and off by this little dial. You take the top off and it's got a little tray on top. You can kind of see that I've got wax melts in there already. I bought them also at Walmart. They had so many different flavors or so many different scents to choose from. They might have been all like two or three dollars for the packs of your wax. And I want to say these little holders range between $18 and maybe $22, depending on the style that you got. I put this in our foyer on a little table and it just goes perfectly with the other decorations that I have on that table. And when people walk into the house, they get a whiff of that really nice homey smell, whatever you decide to choose for a scent. And it just adds a little ambiance to, you know, whatever room you want this in. This would actually be a neat idea to put on a bathroom counter, maybe in a powder room as well, because then it just makes it smell really nice when you have guests over and they're using that bathroom. Another area would be in a kitchen. If you have a counter that's kind of away from your sink or whatever, you can put this on and have that scent just really fill up your whole kitchen area. I could picture like, a pumpkin pie scent or an apple something scent in your kitchen area that would smell wonderful for the holidays. So we have used this several times since I've talked about it the first time. I am really happy with this design, but like I say, they got a lot to choose from, so be sure you check out all the designs down below. I've got them on with my little camo pants. I thought that would look cute together. Mom, where's Bentley been all day? I don't know. Why? I haven't seen him all day. You know what? That's kind of funny. I haven't seen him either. Oh. Where is he? Bentley! He sure has a lot of toys out. Bentley! Oh, he's not in his little bed. Let's see if he's on his little ottoman. Nope, he's not on the ottoman. Where is Bentley? Oh, this door is shut. That's unusual. Is Bentley in here? Bentley! There you are! What are you doing? Are you reading It's Not Easy Being a Bunny? Oh, Bentley. All right, Bentley. Well, you let us know when you're all done in there, okay? Bye. Oh, boy. <laughs>
So that's what I have to share with you guys today. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Until I see you in my next video, bye.